What brings you to the summit, Dr. Cashman? I'm delighted to be at the summit. I think the, the best brains uh, in California are here. It gives me a chance to uh, meet and discuss with my colleagues and uh, consider new ideas and new collaborations. What, was, what specifically did you present? I presented our data showing that there's a propagated protein misfolding that underlies ALS. Now that sounds very complicated, but in fact a way of thinking of it is a row of dominoes. Um, if the first domino goes over, then the following dominoes go over. So now we feel like we've identified this as a process, as a propagated process in ALS, and we have ideas about how to interrupt that process. Really? So stop it in its tracks, even though it's begun? Yes. So ALS is um, unusual in neurodegenerative diseases because it tends to present in one area of the nervous system and then propagate through the rest of the nervous system. So if we find a way to diagnose ALS early, perhaps with just one limb affected, and stop the propagated protein misfolding, then we have a chance of arresting the disease with minimal disability. Wow, so explain that concept further. Currently, what happens in ALS patients, for instance, if it starts in their arms or their legs? So um, it can start, ALS can start in your right index finger or left big toe and then uh, steadily progress through the rest of the nervous system until it involves muscles of speech and swallowing, muscles of respiration, which were, of course, very serious. Um, but this process of spreading from region to region in the nervous system uh, is caused by a propagated protein misfolding. Uh, and uh, this must traverse from cell to cell, region to region. When it is between cells, it's vulnerable to neutralization. So knowing that, knowing kind of the logistics of how this disease unfolds, what do we need to do to stop it? There are many possibilities. There could be a small molecule, like a traditional drug, that would interrupt the cell-to-cell -cell progression. More likely, there could be a targeted immunotherapy, antibodies which are specifically directed against the misfolding toxic molecules. Um, also, it's possible to uh, decrease the presence of the substrate protein, and that's being pursued with uh, antisense technology uh, to reduce the uh, concentration of the substrate for this process, which is propagated protein misfolding. Ultimately, what do you envision the therapy to look like? Stem cell transplants, uh, medication, injections, a combination of everything? It sounds like it could be a complicated cure or, or treatment. It's um, likely in the end to be a, um, uh, a complicated therapy with many components. but. Uh, the dream is that if this process of propagated protein misfolding could be interrupted, and that might be with one drug or one antibody, if that's done, then ALS could potentially be arrested. The repair of the damage that occurred up to that point is not going to be helped by an antibody therapy but it might be helped with stem, th stem cell therapy or, or, yeah. If you had it your way, how soon do you believe that we might be able to start seeing some therapy? The antisense therapies, the, the therapy to drive down the substrate for this process, are beginning clinical trials now, phase one clinical trials. Uh, an antibody therapy to neutralize the cell-to-cell -cell progression of protein misfolding, that is four or five years down, down the road. Uh, and the cellular transplant therapies are in animal models and also starting in human beings now. So 
I hope we will have something truly effective soon. Wow, that is so exciting. Is it different in Canada or internationally, this research towards an ALS cause and cure and treatment than it is here in the United States? Talk about the differences in the uh, approach to ALS in different countries. Yeah, so I think there is um, active ALS research around the world. Uh, this is um, an international uh, community of people who want to do something for ALS. In fact, there's never been a time in history when more people are working on ALS, so it is a, it's a great time. I think the care of ALS patients uh, differ from country to country. Me being Canadian, I see that our, our health service uh, provides the multidisciplinary care uh, for ALS patients and families, whereas that may be more difficult in managed care settings in the United States. Are you also saying in Canada that trials and research is being pushed in different ways and perhaps more efficiently than they are here with the FDA? I don't think I would go that far. I think that um, the U.S. ALS research community is very strong and very proactive and uh, of course the, the FDA really dominates the world in terms of, of uh, regulatory approval of experimental drugs. So. I think the U.S. has it um, really in spades over Canada and perhaps any other country uh, in the ability to uh, design and conduct trials. Uh, but uh, as I said, the, the actual fundamental care of ALS patients and families uh, may not be perfect in the U.S. because of managed care concerns.